What's up, everybody? This is Talking All That Kaz, and I am DJ Casio. I want to thank you for checking out this particular episode of Talking All That Kaz. On this particular episode, I got another great interview that I conducted here on my radio show at 90.9 FM KCC in Salinas, California. But before we get going with that, I want you to go to this address, djcasio.com, and connect with me on social media, whether it's on my Facebook, on my Instagram, on my Twitter, or even if you go and subscribe to my Mixcloud channel, you can hear all my radio shows that I do in their entirety, music, commentary, and interviews. But this right here, talking all that Kaz, this is for just the interviews, okay? I want to thank everybody who checked out the first round of interviews that I put up. Now we're on to the second round. This particular round, I'm going to focus on 2019, but I'm going to sprinkle it in with some more current stuff too. So you never know what you're going to get. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy another edition of Talking All That Kaz with me, DJ Casio. <laughs> The Wednesday Wreck, bringing you the best hip hop since 1993 on the Radio Bilingue Network, live in Salinas, California, on 90.9 FM KHDC. Now, here's your host, DJ Casio. That's right, that's right, yours truly, Casio, right here alongside with B Dog. That's right, man. And we actually have some guests on the line right now. You guys, you there? Let's yes, see. Okay, right. there we go. There, there we, we go. go. We got we got the, sound. The high children. Wow, that was pretty good. Right? my man. I, I like how you put the emphasis on high. That's, <laughs> that's right. I, I, I was showing I could hold a note. Exactly the way it's supposed to be said, dude. It is the high children. So thank All you. right. See, Perfect. see. I didn't. I didn't even know that was the way it was supposed to be. I just was trying to show you that I could sing. <laughs> I, can, I can hold a note. Hey, so what's going How on? You know guys? that you must have ESPN, dog. Exactly, yeah, man. Exactly. Top so, ten. So what's going on, fellas? How you guys doing tonight? Real good, man. Real, like, like real good. Like on another level, real good. It's funny you say that because yes, we are uh, from Seattle, Washington, and over here it is always four twenty. Okay, I see. Wow. I see. Hey, before we get started, this this is a question that. Ness and I, Nasty Ness, who uh, hooked up this call, he he and I were going back and forth. We were trying to figure it out. That song, uh, I Feel It. Where is that sample feel from? Oh, oh, oh. I'm going to leave that to the lunatic. Go I ahead, knew Binary. it. I knew it. Uh, do you want me to give you hints? I mean, as a I mean, figure, okay, is that, I, is that really I, something I, 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 I could tell you or you want to guess? I say it's 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 a Smokey Robinson record. No, it's more obscure than that. More obscure than that. Am, am I on, am I on the right path? Uh, I mean, it's the the funny part is it's it's, it's very old, so it's, so that's kind of on the right path. It was uh, it's a sample that was on a record label called ABC Records, which okay. doesn't exist anymore. Okay. Got bought up by somebody. Right. Yep. And the. Uh, the the record was recorded in 1977. All right. It wasn't. And it's it's not the Fifth Dimension, is it? No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. Dang, he came out. You can tell we got a crate digger on the line, man. <laughs> He's throwing out all the possibilities. Yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, you know, I I do know a little little something something. I am a little bit older than a lot of you guys, so. <laughs> Probably all you guys. I might be older than you guys all put together, mm-hmm. but you know, <laughs> I doubt it. Um, you know what? You're gonna have to uh, shoot me that information. Like hit me, hit, hit me that information on on Facebook or on Twitter. I don't want to put it out over Top the air. Secret. Yeah, you never yeah. know. You, you never know. You could pop up on whosample.com because that's <laughs> there. You go. Yeah. That's that's be, be, because because Ness is like, I know you got to have that record. I go. I I'm like, dude. It's one word. I I can't. You got to give me more than that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Rap Attack DJs. I'll, I'll tell them all my samples. But, uh, but uh, I, I definitely go. I, I think definitely dig deep. It's uh, the Young Hearts. Mm. Young Hearts. Wow. Okay. What's the name of the song? Man, I got, I'm gonna have to tell you all of it. 
Okay, no, yeah, no, 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 he doesn't. Okay, okay. I think you, I was, you I can go from there. Uh, no, no, you, 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 no, you, you, know, you. They got one record. Oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Do, don't worry about it, Young Hearts. I'll, I'll find. I'll figure yeah. it out. I'll figure it out. Right. Hey, so you know, being that you know you're coming out of Seattle, talk about the uh, the Seattle scene and what's uh, how do how do you guys all come together and get inspired and all that kind of stuff. That's a great question, man. Out here in the Northwest. It's a big city, technically, but it's really a small town, too, man. There's only so many places where you can play as a musician, especially if you want to get paid, you know what I'm saying? So we battle it out with the rock bands and the punk bands and the hip-hop bands out here just to get just to get a look, you feel me? So we, we kind of have an original sound because we were forced to <laughs> if we wanted to get any kind of gigs, you feel me? Yeah, no you doubt. had to stand out. And to add to that, like when we do shows, we actually reach out on social media and we ask our fans what they want us to sample, and then we'll play our, our original songs, but we'll use the samples that they throw at us. A lot of times it's Nirvana. So, so we have to, you know, <laughs> yeah, makes <laughs> make sense. Yeah. That, and, they, and they love it. That's true. You, know, um, you know what I always. All the time and you, it's very sad. you know what I always <laughs> found ironic about Nirvana? I mean, I, I was a huge Nirvana fan. But I, I always found it ironic that that one song, I, I believe it's called, um, I, I think it might be Come As You Are, where the, the hook is he keeps saying, and I don't have a gun, but, but, he, right. he, yep. but, he, but he did have a gun. He shot himself. Oh, man. So he was yeah. lying. He yeah. did He's have a, a gun. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's very Seattle of him, man. Yeah. We're passing aggressive out here. Yeah, craziness, man. So as far as, uh, but okay, so uh, again, go back and, you know, how how did you guys come together as, as the high children? So I was playing at uh, this club called uh, Moe's in Capitol Hill, and it was like the dope spot. It was like all the model chicks were there. and like mm. <laughs> Okay, um, you, you, said, you said enough, model chicks, I'm there. Yeah, it was dope. <laughs> and yep. then, so, I, so I'm the main MC up on that. And the only way for me to get that gig was I had to do like patois, like dance hall stuff over. They couldn't play. You couldn't have any real rap, right? Right. So Jamal we only play real rap here. Yeah, yeah. Cute. So, so <laughs> well, Jamal unquote. Is down there watching me, and he's just like, "Man, I got to get with this dude." And I'm like, "Hell no! I want all the girls, so I don't want anything to do with you." And then uh, he kept coming back to this club, and then this one dude wanted to battle me, and I was just like, "Yo, man, come here and battle this dude." And Jamal just destroyed him in a way that was just like. Transformer style. I was like, "What the hell?" So, ever since then, we have just been smoking together and making beats. <laughs> okay. That is pretty much really how it happened, too, man. That's like so fun. And and how long ago was this? How long has the group been together? Forever. That was like '98. Oh, oh wow. wow! So you guys, yeah, definitely... we're uh, we're from the real old school, man. We're like we're like the grandfathers of this issue, which is kind of obvious by our songs, and they sound pretty old school, right? It, I, the 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 sample patterns and yeah everything it it takes you back to a a better time in music yes for sure <laughs> thanks bro appreciate it a better time so now say you know along the lines of you guys going back to the nineties and whatnot so tell me uh your I mean you had to have been a listener of the KCMU Rap Attack or the uh, you know, well, K Fox was before your time, but uh, uh Hells yeah, dude. KCMU, nasty mess, man, dude. True story, nasty mess saved my life, man. Uh, how, how, I was in how, a spot. How? 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 <laughs> okay, so I'm in, I'm in this this club. Uh, we were just shooting a video for some local rap group, and me and this one kid started battling. Right, so I'm battling this dude. He's like a, a blood, and he's crew deep and i'm still like reaching and just spitting my hot issue but in the back of my mind i'm like dude this is gonna be a problem once this is over because he got like 10 dudes with him you know and so nasty ness comes up and everybody's like oh it's nasty ness nasty ness is gonna do everybody you guys you guys you guys you gotta watch the language bro oh my bad word. dude sorry well, terrestrial well, radio my bad oh yeah well, anyway <laughs> short story long Nasty Ness said, you guys are both dope. I'm going to put you on the radio. And I was cool with all them dudes after that. So there wasn't no drama. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Yeah, Ness is always a, a peacemaker like that. 
for real. You know, so uh, when 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 he lived up there in Seattle, did you guys actually like uh, associate with him, or was it just that one time that you guys knew who he was and you guys, you know, had that interaction? No, yeah, man, he actually he he hooked us up, dude. He put us on the radio. He gave us interviews. He hooked us up with shows, man. He was really repping hard for us, man. Like we got we got we got. We got to thank Nasty Nets for actually a lot of stuff happening for us. And, and were you guys constantly in contact when he moved to California, or did you guys take some time and then reconnect recently to uh, start doing the you know the promoting campaign? That's a great question. You want to answer that, Bunner? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, Jamal and I put a lot of time into the High Children and 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 been working with different labels. And then we came to a point where we just decided we just want to love making hip hop again. So we didn't connect with anybody. And then uh, we had we started doing this radio show for Eric Powers um, from Cube ninety three, and Ness heard um, I feel on that, and that's when he he reached out to us, and then we started uh, talking again about doing music. So that's, that's why we're doing stuff there. Nice, nice. So so Ness was actually out there like like researching music. That's good to hear, man. Still repping for the Northwest, like Kanye's daughter. <laughs> wow, yeah, wow, that's, that's a good line right there, yeah, man. That's definitely. a good line right there. <laughs> that's cool. What uh, what were uh, speaking of some of the older Seattle groups? Who are who are some of your favorite uh, original Seattle groups? And please don't just say Sir Mix a lot. <laughs> ah, Boombag Project, my dudes, man. Y'all hit to the Boombag Project. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Man, them guys have bars and production and all that. I love them guys. Is uh, uh or go ahead. I was gonna say I always loved uh, Blue Scholars. They're dope. I mean, they're they're true hip hop. Blue Scholars, yeah, for sure. And then this group, the High Children. Have you guys heard them? They are very underrated. I've heard of they have I, some I, couple good songs. I've heard of the High <laughs> Children. Yeah, heard <laughs> of them. Hey, we're uh, <laughs> we're we're um. Were were the Battle Axe kids from out in Seattle, or was that more Vancouver? Yeah, that's Vancouver. Battle Axe. Oh, uh, okay, go. okay. Yeah. I, I pers- oh, wow, Battle Axe. Yeah, man. Those guys are super. Yeah, man, those guys have bars, too. Yeah. But yeah, they're from Vancouver. For sure. You guys remember uh, High Performance? <laughs> Heck yeah, man. <laughs> All my homies was in their video. <laughs> <laughs> or or uh, what's the other group? Uh, Criminal Nation. Criminal Nation. Criminal Nation. You guys uh, were hard, man. Yeah, see, I, I remember all those cats. But hey, let's talk about the new the new record. The you keep me happy. Uh, before we jump into it and let you guys get back to being the high <laughs> children, staying on that other level. What well, what, you know, what do we got to know about you keep me happy? Casio, we like to spread a positive message. We like to think that we do things that make people feel good and happy. We almost didn't make the track. Lunatic told me, he said, what you think? I said, binary, we got to make it, man. Let's just talk about what makes us happy. And that's kind of how it came out. And then I asked Jamal, I said, Jamal, man, if you love hip hop, say word. Word. If you love smoking pot, say word. Word. If you love getting shot, say word. And he said nothing. So I <laughs> yeah, that, yeah. yeah I, I don't know. I don't know anybody that would say yeah. word to that. Yeah, very few, <laughs> exactly. very few people out there. I mean, there's there's a, there's a you gotta be you gotta be pretty hard. Pretty you know, you know, hard. Like, you know who would you know you know who would say word you know you know who would say word to that would be Fifty Cent. Yeah, he likes getting shot. Like, yeah, he on, got on, rich man, off go that. Ahead. Yeah, exactly. I know, huh? Well, well, hey, fellas, we're going to jump into You Keep Me Happy right now. I want to thank you guys for taking the yes, time. Much uh, respect. Let people know where they can find you on Twitter and, and Instagram and all that stuff. Cool. Yeah, we're on uh, we're on Facebook, so you would go to the High Children Music. So Facebook slash the High Children Music. We're on YouTube. Just type the High Children in your browser in Google, and we will show up. And we want to say peace and thank you to DJ Casio, a.k.a. DJ 
Okay. Wow. <laughs> See, I understand what you did right there. I don't know if other people would, uh, would but I understand what Fellow you did right there. <laughs> I understand yeah. what you did right there. All right, fellas, we're going to jump into You Keep Me Happy, and we'll, we'll talk to you guys real soon, all right? All right. Number one, DJ Casio. Thanks, homie. All right, man. Peace. Peace. Peace.